Okay, I'm going to go over step 10 in section B, which is the nacelle installation. And first of all, I'll take my potentiometer and with the screws loose, I'll pull the bottom one all the way aft and snug it up just a little bit. And then I'll pull the top one all the way aft too, but I won't tighten it up at all. And I'll just take my nacelle and slide it in. The bearings. Now you want to lean it back so the gear doesn't engage. You just want to, that one just, just catches the gear. So I'm going to take the top and slide it back just a little bit and slide that all the way against the bearing. And then the idea here is uh, you want to roll the pot gear on the top all the way forward to make sure it's hard against the stop. And then when you roll your nacelle into place It's going to set the timing of that gear so it's correct. And also, because the bottom screw is a little snug and the top screw is loose, it should set your backlash for you too, which is you, you want pretty tight. You want absolutely no slop in this setup. But you can go in here and tighten the top screw. Maybe give the bottom screw a, a final week and that should set your backlash so you have absolutely no backlash in this gear set you can double check it and one final time make sure your wheel the top of your wheel is all the way forward let the gears engage as you roll your nacelle forward Set your nacelle at about mid conversion. Make sure you have your the bigger hole on your rod end facing the conversion arm and just snap it into place. And, and that gets that in place. Then take your lock collar, which I've already added the screw to, and put some Loctite on. And just slide that over the shaft check it it's tight go ahead and torque that up check for radio play check for any looseness and that's the nacelle on the wing.